All right, here we have the 78 Jeep warming up. We've got the four, wheel, four light flashers going. You can see the lights are working. She's getting warmed up. You can see your bulb on there. It's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but uh, not smoking or nothing. I'm gonna take her for a little, just a little spin here. It's a uh, little hot out, so gonna have to bear with me having the dang uh, window open, but uh, you know, it's got the blower motor. Makes a little noise at first and then clears out. CD player doesn't turn on. You know, let's see if this AC works actually while I'm doing this. Max AC. It's doubtful, but uh, let's see. I don't even know how sure it works. Um, but uh, you know, the glove box opens, the brake light never goes out. Uh, the I don't think the fuel gauge works. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the headlights off. I mean, the wipers work, but they're a little crispy, as you can see. <laughs> Stuff like that. I mean, this is a good project. Um, it's got the four-speed transmission, of course. I don't know. Now this AC might actually work a little bit. I'm not dying of heat here. It's about 80 degrees, so I got a little bit of something coming on. So, first gear is pretty low. You know, it's a great project. Um, you know, I'm just not going to get to it. You know, I got, you know, I'm like one of those guys that just I see something I love. I want to get it back on the road. Uh, it does leak a little bit of power steering fluid. Uh, kind of your old truck stuff. It's got fresh fuel in it for the most part, but it does stumble sometimes. You know, it's still relatively cold. You know, I'm in third gear. Got some play in the steering, you know, a little bit, but no cracks in the window. Rearview mirror, I think, is around here somewhere. Give it a little bit of gas. In fourth gear, I mean, goes down the road pretty good, really. I mean, yeah, let's see. I don't know. I mean, if you're in Florida or something, that's probably not gonna feel that great. But I'm getting a little cool down here. It's not too bad. But uh, I'll do a U-turn here, you know, it's, I feel like when I'm going on the road, I hold the steering wheel a little to the left. Um, you know, if it's something that you plan on hitting the trails with or kind of want to make it every once in a while daily driver out of it, you know, I just go over it. We've done a lot of the main stuff to keep it a dependable rig. Um, I usually start out in second gear if I'm on the flats like this. I mean, you know, I love this steering wheel. These will sometimes get a couple hundred bucks for these things on eBay. Um, you know, you got, you got some rattles, you know, stuff like that. Gonna give her a little gas. Then fourth gear. So, you know, if you want to take it on the freeway, you know, it goes. Um, you know, I don't want to be speeding around too much. I am down in the commercial district, so nobody's really around too much. But, you know, hit a bump in the road there, pothole. It soaks it up pretty good. And got a pretty sharp left corner up here we'll take. Uh, do another U-turn and some gravel. The four-wheel drive works. Um, you know, it's it's got a lot of potential, um, but uh, you know, you know, it could be a great trail rig, a restoration project. So you can see it's got a tiny bit of stumble when you surprise it when you jump on it. Uh, it does stumble a little bit. So turn on my turn signal. Go through these little bumps. So, all right, this is going to be a no reserve rig, whether it uh, brings 800 or, you know, 3,000. So, uh, good luck, uh, and uh, let me know if you got any questions.